Hello, Internet. So I went to AB school. What that basically is, is a program that is a Coast Guard requirement that every sailor has to take in order to upgrade their licensing from ordinary seaman to able-bodied, hence the term AB. And it's all the way up in Traverse City, Michigan. There's a few observations I made about Michigan <laughs> and the Midwest in general. If you've driven on Midwest highways for any amount of time, any longer than 10 minutes, you will know that it's all pretty much the same. It just looks identical to everything else that's going on. There's a surprising amount of big boy restaurants in the northern Michigan area. Um, enough that I would notice. Like every every 10 miles, I would see a, see a sign for a big boy. I also saw at least four public service announcement billboards that were geared towards getting people of Michigan to lose 10% of their body weight in terms of their troubles with obesity. They're, they're probably not related. So AB school was really fun and it was, um, it was, it was fun, but it was intense. There was like a lot of information that they have to pack in to two weeks in order to get you qualified to take the test. I didn't film a lot at the Maritime Academy because there was just, you know, not really a lot of opportunities to, um, and there's a lot of stuff going on and, you know, we're trying to pay attention to learn the information that we need to pass the test. So sorry about that, everyone. Overall, it was fun. There's a lot of safety stuff, a lot of lifeboat skills, abandoned ship type drills, firefighting stuff that you have to do, navigation. Um, it's it's intense. It's not. It's something that you gotta you gotta pay attention to and and really try to focus on doing well. There's actually something more interesting that happened to me while I was at EB school than actually going to AB school. Um, and if you follow me on Tumblr, you already kind of probably know this story. So I went in to town to drive around to see some of Traverse City because I, you know, never been there before. And it's a nice town and I was going kind of around this peninsula and on my right there was the lake and on my left there was this big snowstorm that was rolling in out of the out of the north and there was sunlight from the right and it was just it was so cool that I decided to stop my car and I had my camera and I wanted to get out and shoot, right? Like I was the only person on this road, it was a really small road, but I stopped my car, got out, saw the no trespassing sign, ignored the no trespassing sign and I just walked out into the beach area to take a few photographs, right? So I do that. As I was walking back to my car, there was a woman that was behind my car writing down my license plate. And I thought to myself, oh, this could be really bad. Are you with the DNC? Do you know you're trespassing on private land? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to like disturb you. And I guess in Northern Michigan, if you have a beach pro beachfront property, the Department of Natural Resources really is on your stuff about how the the treatment of the nat of the wildlife is concerned. I guess there's always somebody that's like checking up on people and making sure they're not you know, polluting or they're not, you know, changing the natural landscape. We're in this confrontational mode for like five minutes where she's trying to ascertain if I'm a government employee and I'm trying to convince her that I am just a hippie photographer who is attempting to capture something beautiful that happens to be on her beach. Her name was Donna and she said that I, you know, reminded her very much, look, very much like her oldest grandson, Scott. I learned that she really misses Scott because he lives in Buffalo and she doesn't get to see him very often. And as she was telling me this, she started to cry. I mean, I did the only thing I knew to, how to do. I walked over to her and I said, do you want a hug? And she looked at me for like a second. And then she just opened her arms really big and she's like, yes. And so I came over and I gave her this big, big bear hug. And, and it was like, the, it was simultaneously the weirdest and coolest thing that have, had happened to me. So then I gave her my email and I said, hey, email me and I will email you a copy of the picture that I took so that you can have a copy of it. And Donna, you still haven't emailed me, so if you see this video, message me, write a comment or something, or, or message me and I will you know, give you my email again or something and, and I can give you the photo because I really want you to have it. Looking back on it, it was really kind of an interesting thing because we started off as kind of enemies in this, this confrontational mode of stranger versus stranger. By the end of it, we ended up being, having this really cool connected moment you know, of empathy and sharing, and it was like one of the coolest things. Just, it was just, it was so cool. It taught me that in this world where we're all growing up in the age of the internet and 
connection sense seems to become less and less personal in a physical sense and in a in a present sense like you know not being in the presence of the other person you, we're connecting differently now and i don't know if that's bad or good the physical the, the the real personal connections that you have in the physical world matter and especially matter you know when you open yourself up and you try to live and be present moment like with with strangers you know physical real tangible connections still matter and I think that like, you know, I don't know, go hug a stranger today, <laughs> make somebody laugh. It's one of the best feelings in the world.